Vincent van Gogh had a famously distinctive brushstroke, as evident in this painting of Paris in winter. Today, an original van Gogh can fetch millions, but this one is a fake, painted by Luc de Winter. His copies of works by van Gogh sell for around 1,000 euros. If you're going to recreate every single stroke, it won't be a Van Gogh. He completed a painting in just one day, so that's how you have to do it too. Otherwise, the passion and spontaneity are missing. Leuk de Winter comes from Utrecht, and his replicas of old masters are a way of supplementing his pension. He even has customers in the US. The original he most recently copied is exhibited in the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. It's the city's most famous museum and attracts one and a half million visitors a year. The detail that he goes to and the way it looks quite, almost for his time, uh, energetic. The colours, the movement, I love the colour fields and all that. Quite a lot of his, paint, his work's quite childish. Um, I have a daughter that paints and I think she can do a lot better. Van Gogh committed suicide in 1890 and the first fakes appeared soon after his death. The museum has experts run checks on some 200 paintings a year that are allegedly Van Gogh's. As a Van Gogh Museum, we have uh, we, we try to uh, act as a, as a center of knowledge, as a center of excellence on on the life and work of uh, Vincent Van Gogh. The Amsterdam experts have returned two paintings to a museum in Wuppertal that they thought were dubious. Amsterdam confirms they are fakes. After the very close examinations that were done, I doubt we'll be able to reverse this decision. But Benoit Londay, a Van Gogh expert from France, believes a mistake has been made. He's been following the case in Wuppertal. He's confident the paintings are genuine. With Van Gogh, the style sometimes seems almost clumsy, but it's deliberate. It's his way of expressing form. He never painted perfect circles. Look at this handle. It's not an accurate depiction. But Van Gogh shunned form, that was typical of him. And look at this very precise reflection in the window, that's also typical of him. Londe and other experts believe that researchers at the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam have often made misjudgments about what's an original and what's a fake. For example, they might have made a mistake about this painting, owned by a former art dealer who bought it at a good price at an auction 17 years ago. He never thought it was genuine. When I had it hanging at home in my gallery, in my office, I looked at it every day and the damn thing began to grow on me. I liked it more and more and I started studying it. Then a number of experts, including some from the Ministry of Culture, confirmed that it was genuine. An attribution of the painting two diggers in the afternoon sun to Van Gogh can, on the basis of above analysis, results not be excluded. But the Van Gogh Museum insisted it was fake, and without their seal of approval, the painting's owner can't sell it as an original. But die-hard Van Gogh fans aren't very interested in these disputes. The Van Gogh business is thriving more than ever, 120 years after the artist's death. It would be interesting to know what Vincent Van Gogh himself would have made of all the fuss.